walked through the mead. The trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby, something else to follow. Chase him down. Let's go. Iron Bolt, stop, damn it. Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him, you oh. don't stand a chance. Where to see your bark duck? should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken Jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us, and I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. But she never signed them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Buna Brands! The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. T'was your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Zerus speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid when Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars. You betrayed us. The clan that took you in. Good man. He's a servant to Ancreat, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Doily, look a dog. I 
can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncreate lucky. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your proof, lass? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Burn is right, Ceres. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crete will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother! The massacre was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. Son, we get. I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crape. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. I had a lust for power, I knew this, but so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again. No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinate, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. Just in time. They've already started. Weren't long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. I know 
some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 You're back! You met Poppy? She wanted to start talking any day now. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A troberitz, like you said. 
quite popular of late. Picture of dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxman. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. For a relic, I'm pretty darn good with a sword. Though a cut where you'd bleed to death before you hit the ground. Run out of things to say? Good. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> so hey, with the Emerald of Rivia, are you not? Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
rend my heart open, then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both atone. You flee, my dream come the morning. Your scent berries tart, lilac sweet to dream. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is? Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say... Sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me.
there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot them. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Reuven, what's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this horse in first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Riven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry it. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. I've got Poppy to see. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if I'll walk her. What's he doing here? Anybody there? Open up. Closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. 
Splendid. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. Hey, Whitehead. Nice bun you have. <laughs> he will look. He doesn't blush. Oh, I need a rest. Think you're funny. Got me break now. Lovely. Go fuck your mum's tits. Think you're funny. And you How are you? Jackass. Fancy all that to my place. Mm. And then you sent the I was made back for loving. offering a hand extended in peace. Take all. Whoa, Jackass. Short enough. Time and this is a simple matter. Poor son got me yes. by the Won't jungle. find any better. Uh -huh. From the Yaruga to the Dragon Mountains. Easy, Cleaver. Poor son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loot. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first!
Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might, he might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house, though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the pits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. Are you serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. 
The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Oh, Bart, not Bart, stop that. Now! Bart, man! Bart makes Ziggy lose Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky! Bart, less thinky! Bart, sadness! Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfoot go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you! will help me get it back. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. On all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? 
No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no! Boom! Hole! Bad look won't go! Bad look no! Only sleep! Bad shoes! Head full! Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know. A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bart, troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like... I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonce, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. I told him, Fonce, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonts and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it...? No! Didn't notice a fucking thing! Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Edges curled out. Something inside door wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Our house drain pipes seem to converge here. Hey Bart, got a minute? Minute? But no minute, got. But rock, Scott? Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy you like. Talk me with. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? 
Subsicious. But no understand. Something not normal. Something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Yeah! Yeah! But here! Uh, like, uh, his. his. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No. A piss order. Not animal all that. Right. So, like what? Like... Uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But... His here... In love tree. What? Where... Where but turdy dump. All right. Let's change the subject. Good. But time got. Chorfon go. But God now nothing. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here. Not much to do. When but not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. He locked you up, alone. When, but, not... Didn't take you for a thinker. But, thinker, no. But, troll! Uh, thanks for your help. So long. Mm. Long. 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 at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was it's a, a pipe clear over here. Now why am I not to find one piece of the blast? Fine grating. Couldn't push much through that. onto a boat. Hmm, bottom of a container. 
container. Silver cylinder, most likely. Rune etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. Do. What do you want? Done. Examined every nook of the sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Found a second corpse, one of the thieves. Threw up the antidote just like your man Fonz. A beautiful death. Anything on the body? Not much. Empty vial. Hmm. Wouldn't have left him behind if he was anybody. Common porter, must be. Knew nothing, means nothing. Dead end. Literally. Bits of treasure dropped out of the crates. Left a clear trail. You know, like the fairy tale with the crumbs. Hmm. Another one. Hansel, Gretel, burning witches. Very fitting for Novograd. Trail leads to the river where the sewer lets out. Breaks off there. My bet, they loaded the treasure onto a boat. Yeah. A cart drawn by sewer rats does seem unlikely. And since boats don't leave trails, it amounts to fuck all. Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil and sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Nor am I. Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Anything at all? The bomb went off inside a drainage pipe embedded in the vault wall. But the grate at the end of the pipe was in place when the blast happened, meaning... The bomb must have found its way into the pipe from inside the bathhouse. Exactly. Might have gone something like this. Perpetrator started emptying one of the pools, then dropped the bomb down the drain. The bomb flowed down with a runoff, came to rest on the grate, and, to quote Bart, big boom. Drain pipes are only promising lead. We just need to know which pool it's connected to. Yes. Atom keeps a record of guests. Should be able to tell us who used that pool the day of the break-in. You've not done badly. Feel honored to be acknowledged. Oh, that famous sarcasm. I missed it. Really? 
Hmm, about as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right, you inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything. Nothing here. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah. Bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four. And bring me the guest book. Chop chop. Either way, what about Happen? Could have overheard you mention the vault. Has access to the bathhouse whenever he wants. Happen has numerous flaws. He's pompous, pretentious, can be a real prick sometimes, ironic as that may sound. But his loyalty is beyond question. How can you be so sure? Witches know their monsters, spies know their men. You trusted Philippa Eilhart once too. True. But I didn't pull Philippa Eilhart out of a Kaviri prison the night before her execution. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen? Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Impossible? Why? Old Coach has been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I've not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral, but I have my sources. Yeah, yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel? You saw an impersonator? Think for once! They scooped out your balls, not your brain! And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you! <laughs>